Hello, my name's Ray Anderson, and I'm going to read to you today from Sing a Song of Summer, um, which is a very summery book to be reading on a cozy winter's night, but it's kind of nice to be reminded of hot summer evenings. So in this one, Roxanne Calloway, who is the sleuth in the Roxanne Calloway Mystery Series, has gone to a village barbecue uh, in the evening uh, with her husband, Matt, and her son. Um, and we'll just start there. Coloured lights had been strung in the trees, brightening up the grey sky. A group of musicians had set up a mic and loudspeakers at the edge of the tarmac and were tuning up. This looked like it might become a party. It was hard to imagine that anything sinister could happen in this cheerful and friendly village. Roxanne noticed her friend Margot Wishart at a table with two other women, Roberta Axelson and Sasha Rosenberg, three elderly couples occupied the next table. Freya Halliday and her husband, the pair who lived next door to Hazel Dean, and a smaller man and his wife that Roxanne did not recognise. All the neighbours were here. A man dressed to look like Elvis Presley walked out the door of the rec centre. His yellow polyester bodysuit had a metallic sheen and the legs flared. His black hair was greased and he wore long sideburns. He waved to the crowd. Some of them cheered. They all knew who he was. He worked as a plumber, but he wasn't pretending to be Elvis. He took up his place in front of the band. The drums rolled and they launched into a rendition of a whole lot of shaking going on. They weren't bad. Matt came back with their food. Roxanne might not be able to eat in the morning, but these days she became ravenous in the evening. She'd taken to raiding the fridge when Matt wasn't looking. She resisted tearing into a rack of ribs and made herself eat slowly. There was homemade coleslaw and a baked potato. Jennifer and Jay were following local advice and offering traditional fare tonight, nothing adventurous. The boys joined them, hungry too, the lineup for food had diminished. Two or three couples were dancing to the music. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, sang the wannabe Elvis. Roxanne noticed that the three older couples were listening to Herb Appleby, who was holding forth. Their heads were close together so they could hear what he was saying about the sound of the music. Margot Wishart sat at the end of her table. She looked like she might be listening in too. Matt tapped Roxanne's arm. You're off duty tonight, Sarge, she reminded her. She was. And all of tomorrow, she was lucky. We'll have a house to ourselves for a while. Jay Borthwick says he'll take the boys for the afternoon, says it's his turn. Maybe they could take the dogs for a walk at the dog beach. That might be a good time to tell him about the baby. And I'm going to leave it there. I hope you're all warm and snug and cosy and safe on this winter's night. Good night.